So what are your goals for Learning Disability Work Experience Week next year? So in 2017, well let's think about 2016 first, in 2016 we've been super lucky that we had this support and sponsorship from Vanquist Bank, oh, yes. um, which has really enabled us to make that big shift from 100 participants to 200 mm. to more employers taking part. So um, we are super grateful to Vanquist Bank. Especially me, because <laughs> they have sponsored my workplace. Huh? Another high five. I like <laughs> high fives. Um, so um, that's been wonderful. In 2017, um, you know, you've done brilliantly to get 200 placements this year. Thank you. Let's double it. Yeah, we're all aim for that. <laughs> aim for doubling yeah. it. Um, so we want more opportunities for more people with more employers. Um, we also want more partners. So we, it's brilliant that we have uh, new partners in terms of the Shaw Trust. Yes. And Enable Scotland. Enable Scotland. And the Camden Society. So it's actually, that's really key that actually it's not just about engaging with more employers, it's about engaging with more people across the sector to um, to create those opportunities, to give us those links to create opportunities for people across the UK who have learning disabilities. So that's really important. Um, I think it's, it's um, it, there's, the, there's the, the, the goals around learning disabilities work experience week, but there's a sort of deeper objective which oh. is around um, opportunities for people with learning disabilities in uh, paid employment. Um, and that's where I'd like it to see that it becomes just an embedded part of organisational culture. Definitely. Um, I know one person this year has gotten a paid permanent job yeah. on one of the placements, which is quite good. I would like to see more yeah. of that as well. I think that's where we have to, you know, yes. all talent is different. Mm. Let's think differently and create opportunities and work differently. Mm. So.